What did Jesus Christ really look like? Many Christians believe the Shroud of Turin captured an image of Christ at the moment of his resurrection. The Shroud, which some believe was the burial cloth of Christ, is one of the most studied artifacts in human history. Now, information locked in that cloth for centuries was used to bring a 3D portrait to life. The question, is it the portrait of Christ? Ray Downing is president of Studio Macbeth, which created this portrait, and his work is the subject of a History Channel special that airs this Tuesday, 9 p.m. Eastern Time. Father Jonathan Morris is a Fox News contributor. Uh, Ray, first of all, the image on the cloth, I mean, the Shroud of Turin, very controversial. People have venerated it for centuries as the burial cloth of Christ. Other people say it's bogus. It, it, it is, you know, simply, it's, a, it's an artifact from the Middle Ages that was faked hundreds of years ago. What did you do to get the image that you put uh, on computer? Well, we worked off of uh, photographs. Some photographs from 1930s by a photographer, Henri, and some from the Sturb team that, uh, that photographed the shroud in 1978. And we, we scanned those, brought them into computer, and that was the basis for our reconstruction of the face of Jesus. Uh, it wasn't as simple as that. There are problems with the images on the shroud. There's problems with the information it contains. And before we could actually get to construct, we had to do a lot of work on the shroud itself. A lot of, a lot of work on the actual shroud, such as? On the image of the shroud. The image of the shroud. The, the shroud is on a piece of linen, and linen has a texture to it. And that interferes with you actually seeing the face or using it in 3D. What happens is the linen texture comes very, very high, and it looks like you're working on a mountain range, not a face. So we had to eliminate that. The technique we use is called 4 fast analysis. The image on the screen right now is the classic image of the shroud that, that people have seen. It, it seems to show uh, a man with you know, blood stains on his forehead as though he'd been wearing a crown of thorns. Seems to show long hair, a, a beard, and mustache, right? Yes. But you have taken that image and turned it into a three-dimensional image. That's right. And we're sort of helped along the way by the shroud itself because the shroud itself is not an image in the pure sense of the word. It contains 3D information, and it's unique as an image because of that. In other words, there's a statue hidden within the picture. And that's a hard concept to get your hands on because it looks like a picture. There's a statue hidden in there, and you need a computer to extract that information and make it obvious. Fascinating technology, Father Morris, but ultimately, does it matter? Well, it matters in this sense. Christianity is different from any other religion in the sense that it is not a simply a set of moral codes. It's not a question of ideas and philosophy. It's about a person named Jesus of Nazareth. And now, whether this is the cloth, the burial cloth of Jesus of Nazareth, we don't know. But it's for a Christian, for anyone who loves history, it's fascinating to think, now, if this is the burial cloth of Jesus, and we can make it into a three-dimensional object, image, my goodness, it's one step closer to imagining what he must have looked like. I was a little bit skeptical about this computer scientist guy <laughs> trying to, and when they came to me from the History Channel, but what I found is a respectful, what I found is an interesting documentary about something that may very well be, and scientists disagree on this, but very, very well may be it, the burial cloth of Jesus of Nazareth. Well, uh, we wish we could show you more of the pictures, the results of Ray's work, but... We can't. You'll have to watch the show for that. Ray Downing, Father Jonathan Morris, thank you.